Guys, on the three nothing victory over Eau Claire, we're going to start with an opening comment from Coach, and then we'll open it up for questions after that. Uh, <clears throat> thanks, CJ. Yeah, on behalf of our team, we're just really happy that we had such a great uh, atmosphere here <clears throat> with a lot of fans, and I'm very proud of our team <clears throat> because we played a very good team tonight, and uh, they gave us everything we could handle, and we hung with it and found a way. And that's what the game's all about. So. Coach, can you talk a little bit about, you know, second period, playing a little bit on your heels there for a moment? You know, they had a lot of time on their offensive zone and just talk about how you were able to battle through that and come away without allowing a goal. Yeah, you know, um, you know, some of the better teams around probably don't spend as much time in the D zone on a regular basis. Um, and so it is challenging to try to duplicate what you do in practice and carry it over into the game. And that certainly was a, a time or two where we got stuck in our end and we got dead with our, our shifts. We couldn't change or anything like that, but we hung with it. Uh, the pucks bounced where they needed to bounce, and and if we did have to uh, just sort of get rid of it, we put it in a safe zone. And, and, and of course, it takes a little bit of luck too, but it, it helped make our team uh, gain some confidence, and, I, and, and just that game made our team better. Tina, can you talk a little bit about you know the atmosphere tonight, having such a great crowd, and you played in some big games in your career, but what was this one like? Yeah, this was by far the most fun and exciting game I've ever played in. Um, coming from high school that didn't have too many experiences like this, um, the only one I've had that's been close to this is our Mayak championship game this past weekend and my sophomore year, which was pretty close, but nothing compared to what our fans brought tonight for us. Kayla, can you talk about the defensive play today, you know, and especially Katie making some good saves, but you guys on the blue line just holding your own and not allowing a goal for your 16th shutout of the season? Yeah, Katie played really, really well tonight. She saved us a lot. Um, as far as defensively, I mean, I think everybody contributed. We had to, like, we had to play a different way that we would like to, just based on how they played today with flying girls and such, but I think uh, defensively we did a really good job staying with those girls that flew out of the zone and then the forwards did a good job back checking. And, and coach, we'll finish with you. I'm sure you know by now it's River Falls on Saturday. You faced them twice already this season. What can you expect in that matchup on Saturday? They're, they're a great hockey team and you know we played them twice in December and one game was score-wise was really close, the other one wasn't so close, but um, you know, we had a lot of a lot of talking after that second game over there. We, you know, we just committed to from that point forward to live and learn from the experience and hopefully get another shot at them. And and we have that. And and uh, I know that our 23 kids will be ready to go.